What the? What the is up? My people, how are you guys doing today? I had to drink the agua real quick, you know what I'm saying? Be refreshed by, by the earth, you know what I mean? What are you guys up to today? Today we're going to be reacting to ESTG Capital One. If you don't know who ESTG is, ESTG is a rapper. He's a pretty, me personally, I like him, I like his music. I would say he's similar to like, um, I can't, I can't really name anybody he's really similar to, to be honest, I'm not going to lie. In terms of his flow and all that, he's pretty good. But uh, yeah, this is going to be one of his reactions. The reason I chose to react to this video is because I saw a clip of it on Instagram and uh, the way he was responding to some of, or not responding, the way he was breaking down his lyrics, he was basically ducking all the self uh, snitching. He, he wasn't self snitching. If you guys have ever seen uh, Pee Wee Longway, if you know who Pee Wee Longway is, he's another rapper. I might react to another video of him and Vlad. Uh, if you know Vlad is like a fed interviewer, this nigga tries to get everybody to snitch, right? But uh, yeah, Pee Wee wasn't going for that. So this is kind of something similar to that. Let's get right into it. You guys will see. Let's get it. Let's get to this ESTG Capital One. The life that I wanted to have, you know what I'm saying, as far as nice things and stuff like that. The path that it took to get that, that's where I get my inspiration from. Not really from no rappers, I know, you know what I'm saying? Like real life stuff that go on, you know what I'm saying? That's why I feel like people feel me because they feel the energy is authentic, you know what I'm saying? Like it's good, it's bad, it's ugly, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's happy, it's sad. Only thing it ain't is envy and hating, and you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing my vibe ain't, but all the, you know what I'm saying? The real shit, that's what that's what my vibe is. Alright, bro. I don't know what I don't know what any of that meant, but we go get the tennis, I guess. He is shining out here. That's one thing I will say. It's been a shining crazy. Process of making Capital One, it wasn't no different. It wasn't no different than how I do all my other stuff. Just cut the beat on. Bro. If I like the beat, then I'm just gonna go get it done. So Capital One done. was just like every other song. I think I had got that beat from Southside, I think he had came in the studio and he bought me like three or four beats and like all of them was hard. Well, he paid, played like three or four and he was telling me like, you gotta get on this one, get on this one, get on this one. I did all of them right there, like like an hour or two, I did all of them and they was all bangers. And I think I got two. What do you guys think about rappers uh, writing and freestyling? Like a lot of rappers say they freestyle most of that shit. Do you think that's cap? Let's be real. Cause it's just very hard to freestyle good songs, but you never know. Some some people really out here do that. Like uh, Juice World. Juice World was a crazy freestyler. His freestyles were superb. Two of them on my on my tape, and they was both the same type of process. Just hearing the beat and just, you know what I'm saying, going. Hundred on my neck and my wrist. Yeah, I'm a shiner. Wildin' got a problem fucking hoes without a con. This like a oh hundred God. or something Wait, right here. This like got a problem. Got a problem. Fucking hoes without a con. Hundred on my neck and my wrist. Yeah, I'm a shiner. Wild and got a problem. Fucking hoes without a condom. You a wild boy. Um, this I, I'm not mad at you. Now. Something right here. This like 65 by itself, and he add the, the icing on top of the of the cake. That's a hundred. This like 75 right here. This Bro. charm and cute. Damn. And this really right trying. here is like hundred and. 10 or something together. Really, I should have said 200 on my neck and 100 on my wrist. Hate it, but I love it when I fuck her. Call me toxic. Cold bottle of little water, then I'm boxing. It be like that. Bring that back. Real real Hate it, but I love it when I fuck her. Call me toxic. Who has been through that situation? Let's be real. Hit her when I love her. So have y'all ever been in a situation where you, where you mess with a chick and y'all fuck with each other? But y'all know it's toxic? Be real. It's because I know a lot of people out there have been through toxic relationships. So drop down below if you've ever been through that situation. Because that shit is, that's real. That's a real situation right there. Cold bottle of little water, then I'm boxing with a tonsil. Oh my God. Princess and Zaza, I walk her, not no Molly. Oh you toxic, I feel like you, uh, boxing with her tonsil. You like set it up. Like you expecting them to react a certain way so you know to do something. I feel like I take too much energy. So I'm just going to tell you what's, what it is. I don't see how that could be toxic. But people say, they might say it is. Like, if I'm telling you, it ain't mm -hmm. gonna be nothing. This is just what it is. We're yeah, gonna we're just... do this. How is that toxic? 
I understand that. So what he's basically trying to say is if he tells the chick straight up, like, yeah, I don't, I'm never going to want a relationship with you. We're just fucking. And girls will call that toxic. Uh, matter of fact, let's, what he's basically trying to say is that's bullshit because women ask uh, men to be honest. But when he's honest, like he says he is right here, he gets called toxic. And that's very true, to be very honest. If you tell a woman, hey, look, this is all I want. Some woman will call you, you know what I'm saying? Some woman will be like, oh, this and that. But the real ones know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you agreed and you did it, and then you feel like you feel played out, or you feel like it's supposed to be more, but I already told you that, that this is what it was, though. It's going to be a new dead body, a nigga try me. We just spun for three hours straight and pulled over Donnie's spun. What y'all think that means? Before he answers, before he answers, I can't even. What do you think that? What do you think that means? Let's bring it back real quick. Dead body, a nigga try me. We just spun for three hours straight and pulled over down. What do you think is gonna be a new dead body, nigga try, nigga, nigga try me? What do you think that means? Niggas getting hit with that motherfucker, and then uh, we just spun for three hours straight and pulled over Donnie's. I don't know what the fuck. I know what spinning means. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what the fuck pulling over pull. Put over Donnie's. I don't know what the fuck that means. Donnie's spun. That's like we had a good basketball run at the court. Like oh, no. Nah. Four, five, six, seven games. <laughs> See? This is the shit That's I was talking spinning, about. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. just keep on running them games back to yeah, back to back. Three. Yeah, so three games. Just... You can easily tell this man knows it. He's a smart man. You know what I'm saying? He's They're spinning them back to back. Donnie's back just to back. To get some, you know what I'm saying? Rehydration. Rehydration. Niggas make partners keep getting turned to exotic. Oh my Trying God. to show out when I fuck out, pop the rocks. Ugh. Street nigga grew up on Gotti. I rock with Sachi. So mm. It might be just a little thing. Go in the gas station, get a Roxy. Pop the Roxy, get the breath smelling good. You know what I'm saying? Like an Al Toys type of thing. And when you bump into the girl, you want to make sure your breath's on point. So I thought this nigga was talking about he popped like a pain pill that, to fuck a bitch. One thing I never understood is niggas trying to fuck bitches off Percocets. Ain't that a pain pill? What is that? Don't that make you feel less? Like, I get it. You probably could, you know what I'm saying, go longer if you feel less. But you're on, how do you get aroused on a pain pill? I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. So you pop that Roxy, bam. <coughs> you be good. You know what I'm saying? Fresh. City you know I'm slimy. Can you snake by his partner? Uh -huh. And you kept the back door closed, but you ain't lock it. Uh -huh. Slimy's kind of like, I'm always willing to help. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm some slime you, I'm always gonna try to put you in a better position. You feel me? Like trying to help you. So the city know I'm always look, trying to look out for people, man. Make sure they straight. Make it bad. I'm slime. Getting snake by his partner. This nigga really said the city. He the city know I be trying to put niggas. He he really tried to say slimy means yeah. I'm trying to put you in a better position. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this nigga knows what he's doing. I respect it though. I really respect it. Give it up to him. No self snitching. Stop the self incriminating in the interviews. Niggas go to a Vlad interview and, and just sit there and tell their whole criminal background. The feds knew. The, them niggas weren't even on. They weren't. They were never in the system. They get to Vlad and just tell the feds everything they need to know. They they give them a. Uh, uh, in the mail, fucking background check on them niggas. Basically, they giving a self background check, basically. But this nigga right here, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, you kept the back door closed, but you ain't lock it. Slimy's kind of like, I'm always willing to help. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm some slime you, I'm always going to try to put you in a better position. That means the exact yeah, like, opposite. Trying to help you. So, the see, you know, I'm always opposite, just trying bro. to look out for people. Man. Make sure they straight. I don't do it for recognition, so I don't really like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't one of them people do something for somebody and then just be bragging about it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if we can have a personal conversation and you tell me what you need, I'm, if it's love, I'm going to try to get it done for you. Goofy you ain't had one in the head. I had the cock, and I'm a 5,500 Young Shiner. That's how I'm rocking. I got a basketball team, the Young Shiners. That's what I'm rocking with. You can't not see a Shiner. And that person might not have no jewelry on. They might not have to fly shit on banner. Our team, the young shiners. This man caps so effortlessly, and I love that. What I'm rocking with, you can't not see a shiner. And that person might not have no jewelry on. They might not have to fly shit on, but it's something about them. Like when they, when they coming through, it's like everybody know they there. Everybody can see them. You know what I'm saying? You're a shiner. You know what I'm saying? You can't be ignored.
Send it to my safe, I'll be stuffing it like a stocking. I was mailing tens from my amigos, and them out in Stockton. Mm -hmm. I just had some partners out there that used to send me like retro ten dollar. Matter of fact, know. before this, I'm gonna just start doing this. I'm gonna bring this back. Before he starts capping, I'm gonna just tell y'all exactly what this. The lyrics tell you what it means. I don't even know. All right, I'm gonna read this. Santa to my safe. I be stuffing it like a stocking, huh? I was mailing tens from my amigos, and now I just stocked it. That was terrible. <laughs> but uh, what he's saying is here, he's he's uh, acquiring monetary resources. He's getting money. Niggas really getting money, basically. And I was mailing tens from me. Uh, he was getting tens, so prob uh perk tens. No cell snitching, but I'm just breaking it down from what he's saying. Niggas getting perk tens from Snickers and Stockton. That's basically what he's trying to say. But let's let's see what he caps with though. Let's see what he recovers with. Doctor, I just had some partners out there that used to send me like retro ten dollar bills. That's what I meant, like mailing nice. tens. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I collect old money, so whenever they are running to some old money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mail it to me. Big G, the Capital One. What's in your wallet? I got thirty, forty thousand dollar blues stuffed in my pocket. Yeah. Capital One is that uh, commercial. It's Capital One's little slogan. What's in your wallet? So I say, yeah. Big G. You know what I'm saying? Like when I got my G pending, you see my G pending. It's a capital letter. You know what I'm saying? Not no lowercase G. It's the big one. So I say, Big G, the Capital One. You know what I'm saying? Then when I asked you what's in your wallet, I told you what was in mine. I had thirty, forty. I'll blues in my pocket. Started with the money, respect and eyes to power. Oh, uh, I was knocking both before exotic, it was sour. Uh, my mama raised a whole lot of things, but not a coward. Uh, uh, Why would you want to be a coward? Nobody want to be no coward, do they? Hell no. Nah. That's the answer. Ignore the, ignore, ignore, okay. He's smart. Ignore the glass. Nah, yeah, nobody want to be no coward. You know what I'm saying? He raised a whole lot of things. He raised a crazy person, lunatic. A robber, a basketball player, a, a engineer, a mathematician, you know what I'm saying? But not no cow, not no tuck your tail, not stand up type of man. But I'm gonna get down on him broad day for disrespecting the house. Run the place bugging, I keep running up the malice. I'm mm. in like, damn, like, get. No. Run the no place bugging, I keep running up the malice. All right. God damn it. Pause. Look at the right spot. Run the place bugging, I keep running up the m All right, I'm going to get down on him, bro. Yeah, you already heard it. So, I'm going to get down on him. You know what that means. Let's not, we ain't even got to go over that. We getting down on him. He's, he, he's going at somebody. The opposition, let's say that. The opposition. Uh, broad day. So, this is going to be a public. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be real, uh, real bold for disrespecting. Uh, so, they're getting down on a nigga for disrespecting one of their homies. Run the place bugging, keep running up my... So you got a, uh, I can't tell if he's talking about a rental crib or a rental car, but most likely it's going to be a rental car since they're talking about mileage here. So yeah, if niggas don't know, a lot of niggas usually get rental cars when they usually do like, uh, uh, these types of activities. Say that. Mileage. I meant like, damn, like get down on it. Damn, I mean, better than get down on it. Uh -oh. Get down on like, it. Dance battle, like we're going to settle it out. Bro said he damn. Bro, no damn well he don't dance. Music way. I can get it sold. I did like 20 bowls an hour. A chemist, I can make a liquid solid from a powder. Started with the money, respect, and now it's the power. Everybody want to give This nigga's talking about cooking crack. Let's see what he says, what he's talking about. But this nigga's talking about cooking crack. Money, but then you realize money ain't everything. You got to have that respect. If they don't respect you, then the money don't mean nothing. And then, you know what I'm saying, the power just... Change people's lives, make decisions, you know what I'm saying? They can make somebody else get money. Put somebody you know else in position. Like, that's what everybody ultimately right. wants. If you're a genuine person, you should want the power to be able to change people around your life. That's facts. It's crazy, ain't too many things changed since I got famous. And every time I op died, three new niggas replace them. They get that gang a brand new name, then they don't claim them. I remember when y'all slid through Riata and get the range. It's like Call of Duty, like, I be playing the game a lot. My opponent. <laughs> Let's go back, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. New niggas replace them. And every time I'm done, and they replace them. That's very, that's very self-explanatory. I shouldn't even explain it. They get that gang a brand new name, then they don't claim them. Kind of self-explanatory. I give them. Yeah. I remember when y'all slid through Riata and get the ring. This nigga saying this is a game like two Call of Duty maps. This nigga's 
it's, it's very self-explanatory. Niggas came through from one place, got to another place. Came through from one city. They didn't make it to the next city. You can see what happened to them. I think you should be able to tell. It's like Call of Duty, like, I be playing the game a lot. My opponents yeah, in the Call game, Duty. like, every time, you know what I'm saying, they respawn, like, they join people in the game, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, like, never ending. They might sw switch their whole team up on there and <laughs> act like they ain't just lose to you. Playing somebody you know, I just beat you, and then they just try to switch their squad up, change the name, and now they, they, they brand new, you know what I'm saying? Be crazy. Ask around the city, they gonna tell you that we dangerous. A gangster put that metal in your mouth like some braces. Mm. I'll make them come and get you for a 10, that's a bracelet. I made mm. 50 grand sitting on their home incarceration. You see, I was rapping, doing a lot of features and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I had buckled in, I came up with a deal where I was doing like $1,000, you know what I'm saying? So it just added up. Was yeah. rapping. 10, that's a bracelet. I made 50 grand sitting on their home incarceration. See, I was rapping, doing a lot of features and stuff. I'm not even you know gonna explain that. So I had buckled in, I came up with a deal. This is very self explanatory. Like $1,000, you know what I'm saying? So it just added. To be clear, this nigga did not do $51,000 features. That never happened. It up when I first started rapping, so I did pretty good. It got home from a mission. I'm on the phone with a baby. He told me to stay focused. The trenches needed a savior. That's hard. But, matter of fact, I can't say he didn't do uh, $51,000 features. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But let's get back to this stuff. The line was hard. I told him that I'm trying. He keeping me motivated. Right, but I'm uh, still in and out sliders with Zosie 30 in case. I ain't looking for no mentor or nothing like that. From no, no nigga, I'm straight. I don't need that. So we just be kicking. It's just my partner. He like my music, so he want me to be focused on music. So, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm, I'm going to be around people like that. See me win. You know what I'm saying they know what it takes. You gotta stay around people who've been where you trying to go. Right. I'm the only rapper. They got emblems on the side of they shit too. I might be the only person. You ain't seen nobody bust down their sides with the big emblems. It's pointless. People can't see the side, but I. <laughs> but you know what's there. All right, guys. This has been this reaction video. Um, drop below what I can react to. You know, uh, I'll probably double upload today. Probably do a, um, what was it? I don't know. You guys will see the next video. Uh, thank you guys. Drop more stuff below. See you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Twitch. Follow the Instagram. Follow the Twitters. You know what I'm saying? Links in the descriptions. Links in the outro everywhere. You can follow that. And we're out of here, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.